Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Kevin. Today on the menu, honey dill carrots. So we got our garden carrots, we got garden dill, sorrel, and I harvested the sorrel leaves in a very small form. Uh, it's more for plating. You don't need that ingredient, but if you have it, great. We got honey, that's one of the most important parts of this. Salt, pepper, and garlic. It's about a one to one to one ratio in this. So just mix it up, and if you're gonna use it, just a sprinkle of salt, pepper, and uh, garlic powder, all one to one to one. And this is goat's milk feta. Any feta will work. I love goat's milk. Don't be picky about that. And then a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon. All right, so let's begin. We've got our uh, medium uh, sized saucepan going here. And we're gonna put it over medium heat. And we're gonna add the tablespoon of butter. Just simply gonna melt that. While that is melting, we're gonna get our carrots ready. Now you can do this any way you want. Me, I like to uh, leave a little bit of the greens on. I also save these. Uh, you can do a lot with them. Um, they taste good. But for this dish, we're not gonna use them. So I'll cut it off like that, because it looks awesome. So I wash these up. A rough wash, I like soil. I'm just kidding. But uh, seriously, that you can chop these up into little medallions or leave them as is. Split them down the center. For this one, I am leaving them whole because these are small. All right, so our butter is good to go here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the carrots to that. We're just gonna let them cook on each side. If you're cutting them into medallions, that's where I would cook them a little bit longer um, so they're not just a crunchy piece. It makes more sense to have a little bit of crunch and texture on a full carrot, uh, but if you're going medallions, you have a guess over, they're gonna probably expect a nice soft carrot. So just cook those a little longer. All right, so our carrots are ready for the honey. So now we've got here roughly a quarter cup of honey. And we're just going to add this. If you're doing it in medallions, you can add this at about the halfway point when they're semi-tender to the fork. Just continue to cook them down in the honey, but have your heat lower so you don't burn that honey. Here I'm cooking at a higher temperature and I don't need, and the carrots are where I want them to be because I want them to have a little texture. So I don't need to cook them long like this. I'm just gonna get all the honey on there. So now you're simply gonna plate. All right, so now, we're just gonna top it. So we got some dill here straight from the garden. It's pretty young, baby dill, I guess they'd call it. Just grab a little bunch of it. Once it's all chopped up like this, I'd say you have roughly a teaspoon and just sprinkle it over top. Now, if you don't have fresh dill out of your garden or from the store, dried stuff is fine. Just use less. Now these are little sorrel leaves. And I'm just gonna place those on. They've kinda got a lemony flavor. That's why I've added them to this, that and the way they look. If we were to do a dinner party, it's presentation, presentation, presentation. But they do add a flavor element to this as well. And the final thing, the goat cheese. So for a plate this size, you're probably gonna just use about a tablespoon. And we're just gonna crumble it over top. Carrots are still hot. These will melt a little bit. Is our side dish for your summer barbecue. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make this recipe. Let you know. Let us know how it goes. Leave a comment down below. We appreciate the love and the feedback. Hope you all subscribe and have a great day. Hope you all subscribe and have a great day.